Hi guys, so today we're going to be mixing all of my gel polishes together. I got this message from M. Taylor on Instagram telling me to do a mixing all of my gel polish together challenge and I thought to myself, haven't I already done that? I've done mixing all of my poly gel together, mixing all of my acrylic together, mixing all of my glitter together, but come to think of it, I haven't mixed all of my gel polish together. Now, if you know anything sort of about color theory, we all know sort of what this is going to look like. So I wanted to add to this video by also doing a gel polish mountain, of course, inspired by Queen Simply Nail Logical. I think we all remember when she did her nail polish mountain. So while I go through and mix my gel polishes together, we're also going to do some gel polish mountain nails of all of my gel polishes. It's been a while since we've done something like this, so I'm really excited. With the gel polish mountain nails, I am going at the end to file them down and see if we can make them into anything slightly aesthetically pleasing. I felt like that would be fun to do and sort of see if we can make it into an actual set of nails. Also, it's gonna be a lot going on today. Before we get into actually mixing everything together, I know you guys see all of my gel polish in the background and of course through my videos. I definitely do have way more than one person could ever need but because I do do videos and stuff I do end up with a lot of product which I am very grateful for but I also want to clarify what all of my gel polish means because you might not see some gel polishes you've maybe seen me use in the past a couple weeks ago I put up you know this new background with these gel polish stands and this is not all of my gel polish these are just what I think is the prettiest to display but when I put this together I did go through and get rid of really old stuff stuff that was pretty much used up up, you know just sort of do a little clean out so I do have a little bit less than I did and I also do have a lot of unopened gel polish and I will not be doing that this is going to be all of my gel polish that I have opened I do not just like open every single thing that I get because then I can't give it away I can't sort of save it for later future use from the time you start you know using a product you end up shortening the lifespan a little bit so I don't just open everything right off the bat I wait until I need it so this is all of my open gel polish that I have and use for sure pretty much every single thing you see in the background plus a whole other pile I have here so let's just get right into it first off I'm just going to put some full cover tips on my nails that way there is a base for the gel polish I'm gonna use these Apre tips today it's been quite a while since I've used any Apre tips and I kind of want to just do like the classic coffin shape nothing too long but definitely nothing short so I'm just gonna size those out and we're just gonna quickly pop them on because that's not the point of this video. Tip primer, I get this from a prey also. Let us begin. I'm gonna start with this like partial set of polishes that I have from Awesome Color, which is like one of McCart's, I don't, just, I don't know what to say, like spinoff brands, you know what I mean. This is going to take quite a while, but that's fine. Okay, first one's a go. You can see that. Feel free to leave a guess down below before we get too far into it for how many gels you think I have. I am keeping tally. I'm excited to see. I'm gonna be a lot of time just curing today. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm pretty much just going to do something like that for each gel. And periodically I will scrape it down because I foresee this thing being pretty full. And I don't really wanna use too much of each one to where I'm like pouring it out. I don't think that's necessary. I think we will end up with plenty just doing like one brush. See, I already feel like that was a good amount. Ooh, I should have shaken that one up. Next up, I actually got a very sweet package from Veda Nails in my P.O. box. And there are a couple that I'm wanting to open. This is a small business that one of you own and I love that and that was very sweet of you to send this to me because it was from Canada so I can't imagine how much that shipping cost. But I was planning on opening a couple of these anyway because some of the colors caught my eye such as, yep this one of course, you're shocked. Here is all of them, let's grab another, let's say two out, let's do hollow gold also, and pansy purple. Here is the bottle, the color on the bottom. Let's open it, I'm excited to see. That is beautiful, look at that, wow. Okay, I'm excited. That one almost looks like a glitter hollow jelly. I absolutely dead, I love this. Probably gonna wanna be my favorite colors for summer. Beautiful. Next up we have purple pansy. Nope, pansy purple. Sad to be covering this one up. 
That's some pretty good coverage considering we were covering glitter. <laughs> and hollow gold now, very pretty. I have a couple of these little random ones from Enel Couture. I cannot wait to see how everything looks. I kind of filed down. I think all of the layers are gonna be really interesting. I think this one's a jelly. Yep. I do not have a whole set of jelly polishes. If you have a recommendation for the best brand that has, you know, like a full on rainbow of jelly polishes, let me know because I need them ASAP. I don't know how cool this gel is gonna look over this, but it has like little confetti looking pieces. Probably look better over like a, you know, a light pink base or something like that, but it's still super fun. We are only 10 gels in and this is looking a little chunky, but let's move on. I only have three of these Young Nail gels, so let's just do these really quick. Nice little sheer color. It's gonna look like absolutely nothing happening. This one looks like nail polish, in my opinion, just like that metallic-y color. It's looking lumpy, but when we file them all down, they'll go back to a good shape. Hopefully it'll look cool in the process. If I was more organized, I probably would have organized everything by color first, but I feel like our little mixture already is looking kind of cool. I feel like that would look really cool marbled. We'll see how well I can get away with sort of putting everything in there without mixing it up too much. And maybe we can try like a marbled nail with it. I think that would be really fun. I have a good amount of gels from Ellen Nailed It. This one is my absolute favorite. It's like a rose gold. This is the shade for it. Then I have some other sort of like reflective ones. I don't think I have any regular colors from Ellen Nailed It, only thing that says like glitter. <laughs> Starting to get like a little drip down here. Definitely did not intend for that. I think it was like a giant piece of or like clump of glitter that just kind of got layered. Trying to make sure I get all angles because I don't know about you, but just depending on which hand I'm doing, the side that isn't, you know, in my center always ends up getting left out a little bit. I feel like I end up like missing those little crevices on those sides and stuff. Ooh, we're starting to get messy. This is the last Ellen Nailed It gel. Another sort of like sparkly. I don't know if this is a top coat or like a color, but it's like sort of like a iridescent green peach yellow. Okay, it doesn't look like that much in here, but it will. <laughs> Got a cat's eye from Vetsy. This is the one of the ones where it's like hollow, but you can also move it around with a magnet. I'm not going to move it around with a magnet because there's literally no point. You'll never see that underneath. And then I had a decision to make, and that was whether I was going to include the solid gels like this or not. And I decided that I was because they are gel polish. Just because they're not put on with like a normal dip brush doesn't mean they're not gel polish. So I am going to include the ones that I have open. Of these, you guys know I have quite a few, but I don't have a ton open except for the palettes, which we will get to next. But for now, I think I have these three open from Vetsy, so we will do this. All right, this will be interesting, putting in all of these like this. Maybe it'll be quick, maybe it won't, I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of blue. Is blue just the color I gravitate outside of pink? Also with these solid gels, I am not putting them on 100% perfect. I am using a base gel to help them glide and stuff, but I'm not gonna spend like an hour trying to get it even because it's getting covered. Ooh, that one's super pretty. And for these, I'm just gonna try to like guesstimate with this what a reasonable drop is. It's looking super cool though. We're about 25 down now, and I'm finally just gonna tackle what I'm dreading a little bit. It's these Model 1's palettes with nine colors in each. So this is gonna be quite a task just for these. I haven't even touched the gels behind me yet. I think I'm a little in over my head deciding to do my entire hand instead of just like one finger or two different videos, but that's all right. It's fine. I'm fine. Let's do a speed round for the palettes because this is so much gel in such a little area that we just gotta get through it quicker. We'll be here all day. We'll start with the brightest palette.
I think we're at a point where we need to scrape this bowl and get it all kind of in the center. So I'm gonna try to just like do that. Okay, there we go. All of that down there. <gasps> ah! Oh, it's okay. It's not liquid. <laughs> There are the palettes after I got the little bit for our mix of gel and then a layer each for my hand. I'm not even gonna lie, that took me almost two hours just for the gel palettes. It's fine though. My nails are looking super, super chunky and they look sort of ripply, if that's a word, probably not. I think because some of those gels had some chunky glitter, so it would raise an area and you kind of just keep putting gel on top and it kind of got all ripply. They low key look like those like 3D nails, like the dragon ones with like the scales and stuff. Underneath looks really interesting. Kind of looks like a pot of colored pencil shavings to me. I don't know. These are so thick already. I do believe it is time to start pulling from the gel back here. So let's just start. We'll just continue with model ones. So I have these ones. These ones I love the packaging on, obviously, which is why I have them like right there. I think they're super cute. So let's continue. I feel like if I were to file these down that at this point, this gel probably wouldn't even show anymore because it would be way too thick. Unless I just kind of shape like the thickness of it, like just take off all these like ridges at the end and stuff like that. Then we could probably see a lot of it, but I don't know. We're gonna have to see. I don't know if I can stand to have probably like double the thickness. It's crazy. I am kind of sticking within the same color family just in case when we file down, it can be a little bit prettier of like a rainbow opposed to just pencil shavings, you know, like just a little bit like organized pencil shavings maybe. I don't know. I really wish this didn't have so many ridges and stuff, but it is what it is. I think that the gel polish is starting to smooth it out a tiny bit, which is good. It's actually so much easier to paint now also because it's kind of just like a flat layer on top. I don't have to worry about getting like the sides really well and not touching my skin because it's just so high off of my nail. It's not even gonna, there's no chance of it touching my skin. If I'm just doing a normal set, I won't put like sunscreen on. If I know my hand's gonna be in and out of the light like all day, like today, I do put sunscreen on. I've been seeing a lot about that lately, just FYI. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really impressed at how much smoother it is now. So appreciate that. It will be substantially easier to paint now that it's a lot smoother. Just getting the gel on all of those little crevices is honestly a pain. If I remember correctly, this is also one of those magnetic ones where you can move the little pieces around. I really am loving how our, I'm gonna just say bowl, bowl of gel is looking and I definitely think I'm gonna try to do like a little bit of like a marble design before we just completely mix it all together. We are at 67 gels so far. Up next is Kira Sky. Have quite a few of these. Not even gonna lie, slightly regretting this decision to do all of this at once, but I'm honestly way too far in to give up now. I will do this literally all night if I have to. This one is way brighter than it looks in the bottle, wow. On the bottle, it just looks like a light red. It's like a fluorescent orange. I love the brushes that Kira Sky has. I feel like they're so easy to put the gel on like around your cuticle. I just like the shape of it. It's also a very like malleable brush, if that makes sense. I just wish that their gel polishes weren't so sheer. I was doing a set on a friend the other day, just like a regular gel polish set, and I had to use three layers and it still didn't look like super opaque, which I was really sad about because I wanted to do like a design on top, but I didn't want them to be like super thick. They're starting to look real bubbly now, like too smooth now. I almost preferred the um, ridges looking at this now. Oh my gosh. These are honestly so scary. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. All right, some glitter. Let's see if any of the ridges come back. Although this glitter looks a lot thinner than that glitter. So I think we'll be good. You know, I actually kind of like these edges now, like the ones on the sides. I think they're fun. I feel like they look the best out of everything since they show so many of the layers. I'm gonna make these work. Just swatch. I'm determined, honestly. Spent way too long to not do something cool with them. They are pretty heavy though. So this one, if you watch, probably looks crazy. You're like, what is happening? It's color changing. So I think my nails are warm. So whenever it's hitting my nails, it's like turning the other color, which is like a light, almost like 
blue gray. I'm not sure if you guys can tell from that angle, I guess, but I would say that this bowl is actually like, I would almost want to say like a tenth full, which doesn't seem like a lot, but this is going to be way more now after these ones. Trying not to touch anything to this. Don't want some extra dimension when I put them back in their bottle. I feel like the swirl is looking so good though. First white in here, I think. Ooh, looking so fun, isn't it? Next up, we're gonna do these Prey Gels. Again, love bottles like this, so pretty. I'm not sure, I think you guys can see, I have those. Those are a prey as well, but they are the Extend Gel bases. They do have color to them, but they're not like gel polish, so I'm not going to include those. They're just like nude for like underneath the tip and stuff like that. They're not like for the entire tip. I've been starting to just like open them all up right away. So I'm not like struggling in between. These gels do have a slanted brush so that you can do a French tip with them, but you can also just, you know, use them however you want. Super good coverage on these. Wow. Like that's one coat. Wow, I'm really impressed. I've used one or two of these before, but I haven't really used them like full on in action like right now. So obviously you guys probably can tell so far that I haven't gotten to my largest gel polish collection brand wise yet. And so next we're on to McCart. So there's like 30 something here. Oh my gosh, I do not know how much more my hands can handle. These nails are so thick. They are insane. I decided that I am going to do all of these on my nails also. Of course, we're going to mix them. And then as far as, wrong way, you guys, nope. Again, okay, I was right. You guys can probably see I have, I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you can't. This side I have a lot of other gels, but they are gel liners. I am not going to do layers of those on my nails because they do have liner brushes and usually you don't even use those as like full gel colors on your nail. I almost was thinking about like doing like just like a squiggle of each one, but I don't feel like that's really worth it. However, because it is just a gel polish in general, I will mix it all together in my little gel polish concoction. I feel like it's fair to probably not do like 20 to 30 layers with a liner brush on my nails, but we can definitely mix them in our, you know, mixture. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's just do all of these gels really quickly somehow. My fingers are so heavy. I feel like I knock someone out. Honestly, this wouldn't be as tedious if I didn't have to cure it. The cure is what's killing me. I just want to be able to like, shh, you know, super quick, but can't always get what we want. Okay, this is the absolute last gel polish that we're going to be putting on my nails. The Disco Gels from the collection that I was a part of with McCart are back in stock, by the way. I just wanted to quickly mention, since they did sell out before I was able to post my original video of that collection. We have other liners to mix into our gel polish concoction, but this is going to be the last layer of the gel polish mountain. Of course, I had to have it be pink last. Voila. <laughs> Worst reveal in history. But now, let's get all of these gels in here. Okay, so here we are 10 hours later. No, I'm not joking. It's literally been 10 hours that I've been doing this. So we have our, as you would call it, gel polish mountain nails. Let me do a quick little calculation or how many is on these babies. 
All right, are we ready? Just on here and mixed so far, there is 126 gels. These are pretty heavy, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, there's some weight to them. The underneath of these things look absolutely insane. Now, I am absolutely dying to marble our concoction and also mix it all together, but I feel like I cannot live on without filing these things down. These are probably harder to manage with than long, long, long nails just because of how heavy and bulky they are. These are probably some of the heaviest nails I've ever had on. So I am going to file them down and I hope that they come out looking super cool looking. We are going to lose a lot of the layers, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I think it's gonna be super cool. So here, get a good look of these things because unfortunately I'm not keeping them. If I could, I would just like pop one off and like throw it in my jar, but these are stuck to my nails. Let's get to it. I'm really excited to file. I'm gonna show you guys up close for the filing because I think it's gonna look super cool. Are you guys ready to see these? I feel like I have a little bit of like renewed life in me after filing them and seeing them because I was a little worried. I'm not even gonna lie. I felt like I didn't know if those were gonna be savable, but ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three. They look so cool, thankfully. <laughs> We will top coat these towards the end when we top coat our other set that we're doing. But now let's finally move on and get to the end of mixing everything together. I have like, I don't know, 15, 20 McCart gel liners, but now since we're not putting them on the nails, it should go a lot quicker. I'm not sure if you guys can see these liners right here. Those ones are the same as the ones I'm doing here. It's just in different bottles. So that's why I'm not also doing those ones. I feel like I didn't want to do duplicates. I am really excited to marble this a little bit because I feel like every time I do one of these mixing videos, everyone is always like, you should have marbled it, marble it next time. And I'm like, next time? You know how long this took? I'm really glad that I'm gonna do it before I just mix it all up this time because it's not really something that you can just like go back and like redo really quickly. I think this is almost halfway full. <laughs> and we have our very last batch of liners. I'm super excited. These ones are all super bright, so I think it'll be good to top everything off. My face cam might be cutting in and out right now because I think it's done filming for the day. I don't know, it just keeps turning off for quite literally no reason. It might just be, it's like over it for the day. Camera's telling me to go to bed. I keep calling this like a concoction or something like that, but I think I'm just gonna call it like gel soup. So I'm going to predict that this gel soup is going to end up a lot more purple than brown. That's just what I think. So there's a lot of pink in here, but there is a lot of blue. And last one, it's a black, shocker. I've been doing it just by like rainbow and then lightest, darkest and stuff. Yay, okay, so, ooh, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna let all of this gel just kind of fall into the mixture a little bit and I'm gonna pop on some nails on this hand so that we can do some marbling and also do some nails of just whatever this color is. All right, 
Finally, it is time to mess with this gel soup. I am going to scrape everything off of the sides to the best of my ability without mixing it. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I don't wanna mix it any further yet. So to sort of display the marble effect, I'm going to use some blooming gel, you guys know my new favorite, on like two accent nails so that we can get like a really cool marbly something going on. I am keeping the nails clear cause why not? I feel like we don't do that very often. And also that way we can like see how it's gonna look. But I'm gonna do it on just two nails and then on the other three nails we will do our entire mixture. There we go. I'm gonna use a fairly large brush and just dip it in. Does that work? Maybe just like a swirl in it. Oh, <gasps> seems like a lot. That's not super pretty, I don't think. I'm gonna get another dip in it. Hmm, it's okay. Okay, you know what? Those actually look pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that. Call it good for those, I guess. Now the time has finally come to mix all of the gel together. I calculated and there is 168 gels in here. Ooh, pretty. Yep, turned the color I mostly thought it was gonna, except it's a bit actually more brown than I thought. I thought it was gonna be more of like a, a little bit more purple. I'm like, I don't even know if the solid gels are like really mixing in well, or if they're just like kind of staying chunky. I mean, it's pretty, it has some little, you know, reflex in it. There's a good amount of like reflective gel in here, some glitter. Let's just paint my nails now, the rest of them. I feel like this color will go with the marble, right? Little sheer, still very pretty though. It's a good like naturally-ish color. This is pretty thin despite having like a good amount of solid gel in there. I'm gonna do a second coat. And then just one more coat. So I'm gonna do three total just to make it not very transparent. I actually love that color. I feel like the glitter really helps it, just gives it that like extra little like fun. And there is pretty much this set. I am strongly feeling like it needs rhinestones though. Anyone else agree? Yeah. For my rhinestones, I'm gonna try this Valentino Diamond Gel. I have never tried anything from Valentino before. Not sure if this is a good thing to start with, but we'll see. This stuff is a way thicker than I thought it was gonna be. Oh wow, yeah, way thicker. Okay, I definitely got a little too much. It's been a while since we've done rhinestones. I miss rhinestones. I've been really wanting to do an entire bedazzled set, but not like your normal bedazzled normal like just regular rhinestones like a design and then the design in rhinestones on top of it if that makes sense i've been really wanting to do that what design is this i have absolutely no idea i'm just kind of going with it today i just know i wanted like a couple different colored rhinestones just to sort of bring out like the colors and the marble and stuff i feel like those ones are too big There we go, rhinestones on this. Now, I'm gonna put just a couple rhinestones on this one, probably just like one on each one, just to match it a little bit, you know, just to balance out the hands. I am dying to top coat these ones, so let's do that. So pretty. And here are the finished nails. I hope you guys liked them. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey that we took to get these nails. I absolutely actually love them. I can't wait to see them in some natural light, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye. So we'll flow